I'm Craig Kenneth, a relationship coach and a psychotherapist. Every relationship is different and every breakup is different. Work with me and you'll get professional help on your situation. And if you're in no contact, focused on personal growth, my workbook series, The Knowledge, will help you make changes like you've never made before. Available now at AskCraig.net. Hi there, I'm Coach Craig Kenneth. I'm Coach Margaret. And today we're going to be talking about feeling validated. Well, as many of you guys come to our channel going through a breakup and learning about attachment and mental health, there are often times where you just feel like, wow, this thing that has been bothering me for so long and I couldn't put my finger on it, I finally feel understood. I finally feel like I know what's going on right. in my life and why things are the way we are. they are. And so we feel validated. And it's incredible to feel that sense of relief. Oh, it's wonderful. If somebody validates how you feel, and I hear people say, I shouldn't feel that way. Feelings are neither good nor bad. How you feel is how you feel. Mm -hmm. But if you've thought you were crazy or other people have taught you were crazy, there's nothing more validating than somebody saying, I can see how you feel that way. If I put myself in your position, I'd feel that way. Yeah, right. absolutely. So I've got a really nice email that I wanted to share today. And I think a lot of you will f kind of understand where they're coming from. And they did such a nice job of expressing it, I thought we'd share it. They said, Dear Coach Craig and Margaret, I just wanted to thank you for the important work you are doing. My boyfriend of five and a half years left me a few months ago, and life as I knew it has changed completely. Wow. It was sudden. I did not see it coming. There was no tapering off, no big talk, and no second chance. I had to put in 30 days notice on the apartment we shared because I could no longer afford it on my own, nor did I want to live alone. Losing the home I loved in a month's time added oh, to the trauma. How terrible. Everything I was 100% sure of was gone. My present and my future plans, hopes, dreams, gone in an instant. I think just about everybody feels like that, right? Oh, yes. But she was in a practically speaking difficult position. Yeah, yeah, that makes it worse. Yeah. When you compared a breakup to death, that resonated with me because the person I knew died that day. Boy, is that true. It really yes, it is. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's like a death. Mm -hmm. That's why you grieve. Also, this happened a month before Christmas. Oh. As someone with an anxious attachment style and abandonment issues, this was the worst way possible for a breakup to happen for me. Oh. I immediately started going to a therapist, Good girl. reading the books she provided me, and reaching out to my community of friends. I found your YouTube videos early on and have been listening to them daily, sometimes multiple videos a day, sometimes in order to go to sleep at night. Right. Your videos validate what I am going through, both the mental and the physical symptoms. They have especially helped me to realize that this is not all my fault. No, it's not. To forgive myself, the importance of personal growth, and how to handle no contact. My ex was sending me mixed messages and seemed like he wanted to get back together, only to confirm to me that he doesn't. We went no contact and he broke it off after a week with the same mixed messages. After a second confirmation that he does not want to be in a relationship with me, but wants to be friends, I had to tell him that I could not be friends with him at this time because I wanted more than that and it was too painful for me. Good for her. I told him to contact me if he changes his mind about reconciliation and that I would contact him when I could truly be his friend. I am in so much pain and I miss him and the life we had together very much. 
I guess I just wanted to say thank you for providing so much free content, especially for folks that may not have health insurance, access to a therapist, or a support system. You are saving lives. Oh, well, thank you. I hope to email in the future with a success story on my journey to being a whole person on my own. For now, I will continue to do the work on my personal growth. I hope you and Margaret can do a group seminar or a workshop type thing in the future. That would be a great thing. Thank you so much. And thank you for writing that. And oh yes, thank you so you much. You so succinctly covered so many of the areas that I think everybody is going through that I thought it would help validate all of you guys. Yes, yes. That you're not crazy. What you feel is real and what you feel. Whatever your feelings are, you have a right to them. Mm. They're yours. And all of these things that you're going through, you are not alone. Yeah. How you handle it, you know, that's something that you really want to look at and stay motivated on. Because some of you guys are going to go back to your old ways. Some of you will continue the personal growth and really use this breakup to change your life. You have to decide how ready you are for that and how committed you are to that. Nobody can make you do it. But the pain that you're experiencing is enough to change your life if you let it. Yes. And yes. I, I hope that all of you that are experiencing all these different things and all of the losses that co come up through a breakup yes. can find peace at some point. And Margaret and I are always trying to educate in so many different areas yes. because we want to see you grow and either have another opportunity with your ex or with somebody new. Or with somebody new, right. And let's not forget either that many people in their efforts to be helpful to you are going to say invalidating things. You'll find somebody better, you'll get over it, you'll be okay in a few weeks. And all of those things feels terribly invalidating. Yeah. Like it's no big deal, you'll be fine. No, I feel like I'm dying. You and know? unfortunately, they're going to give you a lot of bad advice. Yeah. They're, oh, yes. They're going to misinterpret oh, yeah. a lot of different things. They're going to see things that aren't there. They're going to tell you to do things that are not helpful. I cannot even tell you day in and day out all the things that I hear and I get it because I was in those situations yeah. before where I was talking to everybody that I could about my breakup right. didn't matter who it was because I was looking for somebody who knew the answers yeah. and you know like I've told you guys I decided I'll figure it out myself and I've had Margaret here along the way to help me do that yeah and put together a lot of different things and but look everybody's free with their advice yeah you know? reach out don't reach out just move on, forget about it. You can say you'll be okay. Um, yeah. But they don't have to deal with the consequences. No. No. And so... And people are well-meaning. Yes. Oftentimes they are, but sometimes they don't want you to get back with your ex because they don't like them. Sometimes it's just because your ex hurt you. Sometimes um, maybe because your ex really did mistreat you. Right. Right? So there could be a lot of different reasons as to what's going on. But... I just thought that this email, what a great email really validated so many different points. She shared her process and it was enormously helpful. And how so many people out there are going to watch this video and said, yep, that was me. Check, 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 check down the line. Right. Right. So the thing is, is that not all of you will get another opportunity with your ex. A lot of you will hear it from your ex at some point, some of you won't. Obviously, every situation is so completely different and a lot of the times it has to do with your behavior in the breakup, which increases or decreases the chance that you can turn things around. Mm -hmm. um, but regardless of what happens with your ex, if you're focused on the personal growth, it's going to be a win one way or the other. Right. You can't lose that way. Yeah. And it will instantly help your self-esteem. Right. So, I really like this email. Thank you so much for sending it. And if you want to share your success story uh, with me on the website, we always like to hear that from you guys. 
And of course, if you want to get our help personally, just go to my website, askcraig.net, sign up for the coaching option that works best for you. I do email coaching and I do Skype. Margaret is here for Skype coaching. Please feel free to sign up. I'll be happy to talk with you. Remember to subscribe to the channel and look for me on the podcasts. But that's it for this video. I'm Coach Craig Kenneth. I'm Coach Margaret. And we will talk with you soon.